Hey guys, very crudely yours here. Um, I'm going to do uh, a different type of uh, video today. Instead of using a DV cam, I'm just going to use uh, my new laptop's webcam. As you can tell, it has a little bit of a delay and like a ghosting effect to it. But another thing about it is that it has a mirror image on it. So whenever I put the DVD case up, if it seems to kind of go if it, if it drifts the wrong way it's because I want to look at the screen if I I'm moving my hand in the opposite way on the screen anyway uh, a lot of people had uh, said that the quality of my DV cam which I mean the quality is deteriorating on it I have noticed that uh, I have to do a different type of compression for it on this computer and the quality just does not look good so I'm going to try the webcam the webcam's quality uh, is great. It has much better quality, but it just has that 30 second delay. But if I hold the thing perfectly still, you, it's almost like a photograph. It, it's that clear. So I'll go ahead and start. If you guys watch my videos, you know I got a lot of X-rated cult stuff in. I'm going to start um, with number zero. You can see on the spine right here. And it is, um, I'm decently sure that the title for this is like vegetarians forced to lust I think don't quote me on that my German is a bit rusty anyway as you can see I had to do a lot of censoring on the cover of this one with my ingenious method of censoring uh, and I'll go ahead and show the back and I'll just show you the difference between the quality in this one and the other one the back also has just a ridiculous amount of censoring alright and uh, basically it's just about it's a hardcore porn about this bizarre guy who is just like he he rapes people and videotapes it and then he shows the videotapes to new victims and the tortures get worse and worse as you can see there's like I don't know if you can tell or not if I get it closer like this girl right here whoops like I said I'm going with the camera sorry screen she has like fish hooks in her mouth and stuff and you can see like this one right here's like screaming um the just this and you can see that there's a fish hook you can only this is covered out for a reason. The fish hook is going into that reason, so you can kind of just see how offensive this movie is. Uh, anyway, the cover has like blood drops on it, and the back has this bizarre and disgusting uh, sort of kind of gag in the design. So yeah, it's pretty gross. When I saw it at first, I thought the paint or the it had been like rubbed off or something, but I guess it's supposed to look like uh, someone has rubbed one off. I guess. Um, film-wise, it's not that good. It's decently crappy. Um, I, I don't like porns that are shot in black and white. Because the thing is, they don't... Whenever you watch something like Nightmare Castle or like a Vincent Price film, they look good in black and white. Because there's a distinct black and white. Whenever you take newer movies that are transferred or shot in black and white, 9 out of 10 it has this really kind of grayish look that's entirely unappealing and uh, has more of like a mono color to flesh tones and walls and it just looks ugly and this one has that like grindhouse uh, death proof planet terror sort of kind of artificial grain to it and, and overall the movie it, it's not that fun to watch if you've ever seen one of uh, Andreas Bethman's porn films before you know that the actresses that he chooses they're semi attractive in the face but 9 out of 10 their, their bodies are shot and just gross looking and that definitely applies to this one uh, I have part two on the way, so if anyone's interested in hearing what I have to say about that, whenever it gets here, I will be more than happy to do a review of that one. But uh, as of now, I mean, you guys can uh, really, really, really tell at the back of it that it's just entirely offensive. Lots of sex, lots of violence. It's a, it's kind of like forced entry, only not as good. And it has a lot, it's like a lot, focuses a lot more on the hardcore elements. But if that sounds up your alley, I mean, I can at least recommend it. And I mean, the hard boxes are always fun to have. I don't know if I can show you guys the disc art. Let me check. Um, that would be a no. I cannot show the disc art, sadly. Uh, anyway, but yeah, if you haven't seen it, check it out. If you guys want to hear what I have to say about more Andreas Bethman films, check it out. And uh, if you guys prefer this camera, like I said, I know that if I move stuff around, it's blurry. But if I hold it still, you guys can really get a nice uh, look at the cover and stuff. Like, especially if I hold it kind of close. You guys can almost read the letters on that, probably. Let's see. 
yeah, you guys can always read the letters on that. So, so just tell me what you want to see. This is a lot easier, of course, than doing a digital video and then putting on the just camera, loading, converting, and stuff like that. I think that all the converting is what makes this look bad. This one shoots directly into uh, the right um, format. So if this type of movie sounds fun to you, then I can always do a review for part two whenever it comes in. And uh, if no one wants to see that, then I guess I'll have to find something else to do a review for. But anyway, very crudely yours. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, let me know what you guys think about the quality in a comment. Thanks.